we want to add or subtract the fractions and write the answer in simplified form. The most important thing to remember about adding or subtracting fractions is that we must obtain a common denominator before we add or subtract. Hopefully we can find the least common denominator, but we must have at least a common denominator because by doing this, we're adding or subtracting pieces or partitions of the same size. Let's look at a model before we begin. Let's consider one half plus one fourth. Notice how here the least common denominator would be four, which means you'd have to multiply one half by two over two to obtain an equivalent fraction with the denominator of four. So instead of one half plus one fourth, we have two fourths plus one fourth. So notice how because our denominators are the same, we'll be adding pieces of the same size. Notice here's the model for two fourths and here's the model for one fourth. Now because the partitions or pieces are the same size, we can see we'll have a total of three pieces where each piece is one fourth, giving us a sum of three fourths. So by determining a common denominator, we're making sure that we add or subtract pieces of the same size. Now let's also look at a common error. A common error when adding fractions would be to add the numerators and add the denominators. Using our models, we can see why this does not make sense. Here's our model for one half, here's our model for one fourth. If we add these two pieces together, there's no way we can have two pieces, each the size of one six, giving us a sum of two six. This method does not work. We must obtain a common denominator before we add or subtract fractions. So looking at our first example here, we have one fourth plus five eighths. So ideally we want to find the least common denominator, which would be the least common multiple of four and eight, which would be eight. So we want to write one fourth as an equivalent fraction with the denominator of eight. We can do this by multiplying one fourth by two over two. So now this would be two eighths. plus five-eighths. Now that our denominator is the same, the denominator is going to stay eight, and the numerator is going to be two plus five, or seven. Our sum is seven-eighths, which does not simplify. Next we have five-sixths minus five-twelfths. Again, we're looking for the least common denominator, which is the least common multiple of six and twelve, which would be twelve. We want to write five six as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of twelve, so we'll multiply five six by two over two. So this will give us, notice ten twelfths minus five twelfths. Notice because we have a common denominator, the partitions or pieces are the same size, so it'll stay twelfths, and the numerator is going to be ten minus five, which equals five. This does not simplify, and therefore this is our difference, five twelfths. Next we have five sevenths plus three fifths. Notice here both five and seven are prime, and therefore the least common denominator is going to be their product, seven times five equals thirty-five. We're going to write both fractions with a denominator of thirty-five, so we'll multiply five sevenths by five over five, We'll multiply three-fifths by seven over seven. So we have twenty-five thirty-fifths plus twenty-one thirty-fifths. So our denominator is going to stay thirty-five, and the numerator is going to be twenty-five plus twenty-one, which equals forty-six. So notice here we have an improper fraction. It does not simplify because forty-six and twenty-five don't have any common factors other than one, but notice how we are asked to enter a reduced fraction or mixed number in simplified form. So let's also convert this to a mixed number. This fraction means 46 divided by 35. So 46 divided by 35. There's 135 and 46. Let me subtract. We have a remainder of 11, which means 46 35ths is equal to one whole and 11 thirty-fifths. We have the remainder over the divisor. So let's go ahead and enter our mixed number. One and 11 thirty-fifths. And now for our last example, we have one-third minus one-fourth. So we're looking for the least common multiple of three and four. 
which is our least common denominator, which would be 12. So we'll multiply 1 third by 4 over 4. We'll multiply 1 fourth by 3 over 3. So we have 4 twelfths minus 3 twelfths. So our denominator stays 12. And the numerator is 4 minus 3, which equals 1. So our difference is 1 twelfth. And that's going to do it for these examples. I hope you found this helpful.